So the European Green Deal is an ambition to make Europe the first climate neutral continent by end of 2050. In order to achieve this goal, European Union is proposing to add shipping into emissions trading system by introducing a price for all greenhouse gases being emitted in this sector. It will be a phased approach where 40% of the emission will be subject to price from 2024. It will increase to 70% of the emissions in 2025 and then 100% of the emissions in 2026 and onwards. Apart from carbon dioxide, the other gases like methane and nitrous oxide will also be added to the scope from 2026 and onwards. If we talk about the geographical scope, all the voyages traveling between EU ports will be subject to, to, to ETS for the 100% of their emissions. All the ships which are docked at a European port will also be subject to 100% of their emissions. And all the voyages between EU and non-EU port will be subject to only 50% of their emissions. It is something which, will, which is evolving and will keep on evolving as we will have the more communication about it. We will also communicate it to our customers as well. At Maersk, we highly encourage the inclusion of uh, shipping in EU ETS because it will bring the right investments such as vessels that sail on green fuels like uh, green methanol. It will also encourage our customers to invest in uh, sustainable alternatives and create a very positive impact on the industry. With this, we all can move together towards a common goal to be net zero. This is a big step towards decarbonization, but also proves that sustainable supply chains are possible. So the compliance of EU ETS will increase the cost of shipping, which will be transparently communicated to our customers once we are closer to the effective date of the, of the ETS. To get ahead of uh, legislation, customers can already opt for sustainable alternatives such as Maersk Eco Delivery uh, to transport their cargo. So those customers who are with us on this greener fuel journey will be exempted with surcharges like uh, EU ETS in the future as well.